You know who I am. You're on the Dateline show. They may know who we are. This is true sweet guy. True sweet guy. Like our latest investigation, the sixth one, this time in Harris County, Georgia. Emily, open the door and call. We've rigged this house with 12 hidden cameras, five inside and seven outside. Which camera you want to lose? From a control room inside the house, a crew operates the cameras and records a man's every move from the moment he drives up to the house. We've hired a young-looking 19-year-old to play the part of a young girl, a decoy who will invite the men in. Hey! What's up? Come on in! This is 24-year-old Raimundo Anguiano. He thinks he's here to see a 14-year-old girl named Diane. He met her online just hours ago in an AOL chat room. Yeah, I made some sweet tea for you if you want a glass. It's super good. It's what we do down south. <laughs> I'll be right back. To give you an idea why he might be here, take a look at what he said online. Using the screen name True Sweet Guy 69, he asks a decoy, an adult pretending to be 14, if she's good at giving oral sex. The decoy says, nobody ever complained. Didn't do it lots, but I know how to do it. Then True Sweet Guy 69 asks if he shows the girl a picture of his penis, would she give him oral sex? The decoy, who he thinks is 14, says, oh yeah. And sure enough, True Sweet Guy 69 sends her a picture of his genitals. How you doing? Why don't you have a seat right over there? What are you doing here? Uh, just, we were talking online and I just wanted to come and meet her. And who were you talking online with? With that young lady there, sir? The young lady? Yes, sir. Okay, he wants uh, the decoy to meet her at the car. He was really talking online with a different decoy, a member of the online watchdog group Perverted Justice, which Dateline hired to do what they normally do, go into chat rooms and set up computer profiles pretending to be young teens who are interested in sex. And sometimes, as in the case of True Sweet Guy 69, the decoy says she is sexually experienced. And how old is that young lady? She said she was 14, sir. 14. And how old are you? <sighs> 24, sir. 24? Yes. And you thought that was appropriate. Why? Well, I don't know, sir. I mean, I just thought it was, it was all right. I mean. Then I asked him about the picture of his genitals he sent to the girl posing as a young teen. Now, when you were online, mm -hmm. you sent this picture. Yes, sir. You did? Yeah, I'm not going to deny that. Right. Now, you know that's against the law, right? Yes, sir, it is. You just get into these chat rooms and stuff, and, you know, you just chat away. Do you send pictures like that very often? No. Yeah. Just if, you know, just only if I'm really serious about talking to somebody or something, but other than that, no. Well, Ray, what do you think would have happened if I wasn't here mm -hmm. and a 14-year-old girl was here home alone? Well, if whatever was going to happen was going to happen. If one, nothing was going to happen, then, hey... So if she was willing to have sex with you, you would have had sex with her? No. Even I would still have second thoughts. Second thoughts. Yes, sir. But, yeah, I've seen this show about three times on TV. Already. You've seen this show? Yes, sir. So you know exactly what's going on here? Yeah. You know who I am? Mm-hmm. You heard right. This man's aware of our previous investigations. You're on the Dateline show. Exactly. Yes, I know who you are. I'm Chris Hansen. Yeah, Chris, there we go, yeah. Now, did you, did you think at all that maybe you were walking in to, to catch a predator? It was, and you know, that kind of crossed my mind yeah, for a minute. Yeah, I mean, For a minute, you yeah. know. And then I just, just wiped it away, you know. So you wiped it away. Do you think it was a good show? No, I mean, yeah. I mean, it was supposed to stop people and things like that, you know. Well, this is the part where usually I say, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline yeah, yeah, NBC. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, you remember that part? Yes, I remember. And you remember when these guys come out, the yeah. cameras come out, right? Mm -hmm. And then I say, if there's anything else you'd like to tell us, no, that's we'd it. like to hear it. Otherwise, you're obviously free to walk out the door you okay. came in. And like the other men he's seen in our reports, True Sweet Guy 69 probably knows he's about to face yet another confrontation. Get on the ground. Here, Get on the ground. Now, on your face. On your face. Get out. Perverted Justice has been sending all the sexually explicit online chat logs between its decoys and the potential predators to the Harris County Sheriff's Department. All right, so here's the updated logs. In Georgia, it's a crime to attempt to solicit sex online with a minor. And law enforcement says showing up at this house makes a case even stronger. So true sweet guy 69 is arrested. Put in an unmarked car and taken in for questioning. I'll just choose my right to remain silent. Okay. After that, he's transported to the county jail, where he's fingerprinted, photographed, 
down to the left. And locked up. The next day, he goes before a judge and his bail is set. Uh, the criminal attempt child molestation is 15000 First time I've done this right here. First time? Yes, sir. Did you bring condoms? Yeah, I brought one, sir.